Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to give you some advice on how to simplify your pipelines because one of the most common problems that I see people make is setting up lots of pipelines in their account, which really complicates reporting, makes the account harder to manage, and I think there is a much better way. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you want one-on-one -on -one help with setting up and customizing Pipedrive for your business, training your team, and automating your sales process, then have a look in the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. So let's get into this video. Now, just to talk a little bit more about the problem to begin with, just so you understand why multiple pipelines can potentially be an issue. Uh, for example, I've got a number of pipelines here called sales pipeline, mortgage pipeline, consulting pipeline, sponsorship pipeline. This is something that's quite common is people have multiple pipelines for the different types of selling that they do, different revenue streams, different products or services, or maybe even, even different regions or territories that you operate in. Number one, I think from a usability standpoint, it's kind of annoying to have to jump around between these different pipelines. You don't really have one global view of all of your leads because everything is distributed and spread out among all of these pipelines. So that's the first issue is just a lack of visibility at that sort of 10,000 foot view. The second issue, which is a big one, is from a reporting standpoint, one of the really useful reports is the funnel conversion report. This shows you your overall conversion rate, so your win rate for all the deals you have coming in, and at what stage in your business or your process are you losing people? Is it when a quote has been sent? Is it um, getting meetings booked? And so when you have multiple pipelines set up, this report is less accurate because this report can only be done on a per pipeline level. So you don't have a global aggregated conversion rate. So that's why we want to try and simplify the pipelines as much as possible. The use case for multiple pipelines is if you have different revenue streams where the process itself is quite different, where the stages in that pipeline are quite different because it's a very different selling process for that different revenue stream or product or service that you're selling. If possible, if you can combine pipelines and standardize the stages, maybe there's one or two stages that are redundant to a particular product or service, but generally speaking, if we can standardize the stages into something like this, you can see here I've got qualified leads coming in, I make contact, I book a meeting, I define the person's needs, I send a proposal, get the go ahead and we send a contract. If I have different products or services that I sell, I could probably sell almost everything in that sort of in in that process going through those stages i would need a different pipeline if maybe i have uh, different qualification steps or you know i've got um business development reps maybe booking people i might have a different pipeline for those processes but for the products or services that i'm selling i could probably standardize everything like this and then what you can do is use filters up here to filter the pipeline based on the type of deal the region the rep uh, whatever it is that I want to see. So if I go to click up here and just click on owners and choose everyone, this is gonna show me every single deal on my pipeline. So regardless of product or service or territory, I can just see every deal that's currently in our pipeline right now. If I want, I can drill down to a particular salesperson. I mean, I'm actually the, the only person in here, but I could drill down to an individual sales rep and I could see the reps, uh, the deals assigned to that particular rep. Or if I do have different products and services that I offer or different types of deal, I can firstly add different products at the deal level up here. So I can track Asana Consulting versus Pipedrive Consulting. Or I can set up custom fields on my deal, as you can see here, for something like deal type. So I could say this is a consulting deal. So once I have products on my deal or I've got my custom field data filled in, now, I can filter based on this. So instead of having to create a separate pipeline, I could just say, show me deals where the deal type is consulting. And by applying that filter, it's gonna just show me all of those consulting deals. So it's kind of like a sub pipeline within my main pipeline. Rather than having this as a whole separate pipeline, I keep everything in one and I can filter to find just those consulting deals. I could apply the same idea to filtering based on region or country if I wanted to as well. So if I do a new filter, 
I can say show me deals where the person, and I'm going to choose address, let's just do country is New Zealand. Oops. And preview that. So there we go. Now I'm looking at all deals in New Zealand. If I want to look at a particular state, country, territory, whatever that might be. So really the filters there, the filters are how I can segment and look at different subsections of my pipeline, different cohorts of deals or contacts without having to separate them out into individual pipelines. This is going to mean I've got uh, everything on hopefully one pipeline. I've got that nice 10,000 foot global view. It's going to mean I don't have to jump around as much. It's really going to simplify my reporting and means I can accurately track conversion as well. If you are on Pipedrive's professional plan, you can even set up teams for the sales reps in your business. So if you have a lot of sales reps, maybe they operate in groups. Uh, as you can see here, I've got, for example, the Auckland team and the Wellington team. And so that gives me another way that I can segment my deals. Rather than looking at deals owned by a particular person, like Paul or Warwick, I can use the teams now to say, show me all my deals under the Auckland team. And any user in the account within that team, their deals will count towards this view. So those are a couple of things you can do to simplify your pipelines and make everything a lot easier to manage. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like more help with Pipedrive, setting up or optimizing your account, getting more out of the tool and automating more of your sales process, then check out my master Pipedrive program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so that you can connect with me and get help and your questions answered anytime you need support with Pipedrive. Or you can book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me so that we can take a deep dive into your account, I can show you key features, and I can even conduct group training sessions. And you'll also get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and advanced topics compared to my YouTube videos. So if you really want to master Pipedrive, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.